room when this happened. They brought Belichick out. Uh, oh, during ha- yeah, they did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what was, uh, well, two part, what was your reaction when you saw he was named and yeah. then also just like your thoughts on obviously him being the next football player? Well, leading up to it, I didn't know if he was going to get the job or not because, like, I mean, there was speculation about it, him getting the job and just to have a Hall of Fame coach like him, I and mean, he's done won a lot of Super Bowls mm-hmm. uh, from the Patriots and Tom Brady. And just to have a prestige coach like that um, to kind of just, you know, help this program out in football, I think it'll be huge for us. And, um, I mean, I'm super happy for him and just for this program because I know how much Carolina basketball and football, just for overall sports, means to these university but also to these fans. So um, I'm looking forward to it. A lot of big names in basketball. Now you get a big one yeah, in football as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a conscious effort to get the big guys open off screens mm-hmm. and post up more. Can you talk about that emphasis in this game as opposed to the earlier games? Um, we were really just trying to um, make the big guys a threat down low. Um, I mean, we did a lot of you know, practice and working with our post, post entries, um, pick and roll defense. Um, in offense, just making sure the big guys are giving the touch because obviously uh, the guards are going to have the ball in their hands a lot, but we got to do a better job of kind of getting the ball, uh, the ball to the bigs and getting them involved. So we did a better job of doing that in practice and kind of translate to the game, whether that was finding them through post entries, um, finding them in transition, because they did a good job of setting screens and we had to reward them. So we did that today. So there was a lot of post ups. Uh, before this game, uh, that seemed like a big point of emphasis uh, during practice. Yeah, post ups, but then also kind of just setting the screens and kind of just spacing out the floor a little bit. I think Ty, Van, uh, Jay Wash, JB, they did a good job of kind of just spreading out the floor a little bit, setting the good screens, not only to get themselves open, but for the guards as well to so create the lead. So um, that was a good job on their end, and they was able to uh, capitalize over that. You're talking about all the guys that got involved today. How big of a deal is that to really make you guys gel and be fluid? And also, how happy were you to see Kane pop off the way he did today? Nah, I'm super happy. I love when we play those type of games where everyone's um, playing really well. And I feel like that was our best game in terms of just a collective group. It was a collective group effort on both ends of the floor. We was able to share the basketball. And then for Cade, I'm super happy for him, the way he was able to go out there and knock it. He made five threes today. 50% from three and just go do what he does um, that he did that last year at Belmont. Super happy for him. I mean, that's the type of you know, basketball player that we, we know he could be. Um, so I know this is something that it's a confidence booster for him moving forward. And you, you and others talked about the headspace you guys were in about yeah. a week ago. Mm-hmm. How big is this to get, get you out of that? It was good. I think we all hit like a reset button. Um, just having like this little week break of just not games but just practice and kind of just finding our, our, our spirit and just yelling together more on the court because I feel like we show glimpses of that in um, the games that we played this year but not for a full 40 minutes and I feel like we kind of need that reset button a little bit just to get our headspace right um, and physically right because I know a couple guys were wounded a little bit just to playing a lot of games with from Maui then right into Bama and then Georgia Tech so there was really no stoppage of play so um, I feel like we needed that and I think it it moved well for us. It moved the needle well for us um, going this past week. So, yeah. RJ, I know you haven't <clears throat> looked. But I'm trying to keep my confidence high and just focus on getting better every single day. Don't worry about the uncontrolled. How do you do that? With shots after shots? Or, or how, do you, how do you fix that? Yeah, just getting in the gym, doing extra work. Uh, shoot till I feel good about it, honestly. And then uh, trying to get some extra work in on my body, range of motion in the weight room, stuff like that. You realize if you can give some, some minutes like this to this team, this team could be really good. I mean, do you realize that? Yes, sir. I'm excited about that. I think we all know we're a pretty good team, and we can be even better. Did you feel anything different coming into today where you felt okay, uh, not necessarily. Um, I felt I felt good all week through practice and whatnot. I just feel like I've been getting a lot of extra work in and feeling more confident about my extra work. There was one sequence where you hit the consecutive corner threes where Elliot jumps off the uh, jumps off the floor, comes over and like you know pushes you in the chest. Mm-hmm. What was that moment like? Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, you know, I feel that in practice a lot. Uh, it was a little different with being out there with a bunch of fans, but it's still the same special moment in practice as it is out there with the guys. Kate, how tough was the transition, if at all, uh, from Belmont to here, and, and you feel like you're kind of feeling, uh, finding your stride at this point, you feel like there's more to go in the game. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely pretty tough. It's always tough. Change is tough. Um, but I think my teammates and my coaches and just people in my circle did a good job of helping me handle it and work through it, and that's what I strive to continue to do. How do you build on what tonight was and kind of keep it moving going forward? Yeah, just uh, put my head down, stay the course. The same thing, just try and get better every single day, uh, individually and with the team as well.
Okay, what t today? You know, obviously you had a season high in UNC best, but at what point today did you start to feel like you were in a rhythm? You're like, okay, you know, I might do something special for my team today. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I never know what's gonna happen when I go into the game. Uh, just try and control the controllables. Um, but I feel good all week, just due to my extra work. I feel like uh, off the court and on the court as well. Um, my teammates did a great job of setting me up today. So real quick, off the shots. Went but. And real quick off of that, Kate, you know, I mean, obviously I know it it has to be tough, you know, recently not, not being able to see your shots fall. You know, what do you think changed? I know you alluded to, you know, practice and stuff, but what changed to kind of help you have, like, a career day today? Yeah, I mean, I don't think anything changed. Uh, I kind of just let it fly today. Um, I think extra work has been really good for me, um, both in the weight room and on the court. And I think those help my confidence a little bit and, and confidence and just to let it go and hope for the best. So. What, what were the coaches telling you during that stretch where you maybe only got in for a minute or two and, and it had to be a frustrating stretch for you? What were the coaches telling you? Yeah, uh, just to control the controllables, um, compete every day in practice, and work on getting better every single day. Yeah, I cannot believe that when it <laughs> I was like, oh, I must be having a day if stuff like that's falling. So, but it felt good for sure. Talking about just kind of getting into rhythm, and it seemed like in the second half, just more fluid shot motion. Almost. Did you kind of feel the same way with your shot there in the second half, just kind of getting into the flow of the game? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I felt I felt good about my shot uh, even before this week, but I've started to feel a lot better since I've been getting more shots up after practice and before practice. So that kind of helped me just get in the rhythm a little bit more, and it gives me a little bit more confidence to just let it go. The, the, the uh, big men seem to be more active and then more conscious effort to get them the ball today. Was that a kind of a, something that you guys went through in practice a lot? Uh, yeah, it definitely was. I mean, they're working their butts off down there. we got to get them the ball when they're open. Um, and we have confidence in them. So get them the ball down there and they just score. So. Thanks. Everything. But when you y'all have stepped back and looked at it, maybe on film, has it been shocking how few post ups y'all have had? I mean, like there've been yeah, games has. where you had not had a post up. Yeah, it's, you know it's, it's, yeah, it's definitely been really shocking. It's, it's been really shocking. Just kind of watching the film back on it. Uh, some of the opportunities that will be there with our big posting up and us not getting on the ball. Yeah, it's not like intentionally selfish, but you know, selfish in a way. So we made sure that. You know, we made some type of adjustment on that. Yeah. To, get, to, get, to get Kate to, get, to play the way Kate played today, how much will that help this team in the future? He could play si similar to this every game. It's huge. Kate gives a size, and he stretches the floor like one of the best stretch forwards in the country. So for him to be able to knock down the shots and just to get that confidence going, and for him to put up ten of them, you know, it's not like he went one for two, two for three. You know, he put up ten and shot a very high clip, so really needed that for him. Set to have a basketball basketball one for you, but before that, just quick one, your thoughts on Belichick yeah, going to the, uh, to the football program? Wow, it's, it's good for us. It's good for us. Good for this. Good for this school. Uh, he's the goat. I mean, he's the goat. We wouldn't want the goat coach at the school. Uh, I hope he brings a lot of money in because the more money they get, the more money we get. So, I mean. I'll be at a lot of games. I'll be at a lot of games for sure. I'm excited for that. Yeah. Yeah. As you saw it unfold, as you saw it unfolding, I mean, what what's going through your mind is this this, this could happen. Yeah, I, don't even know. I really didn't even think much of it. I saw it on Twitter. I think one time, and I was like, it's just I was being delusional or whatnot. You know, <laughs> Bill Belichick is a pin to come coach college, but then we saw him. We hired him, and I just kept hearing more about it. And I was like, oh wow. And then we were walking in, and I saw him while we were walking into the yeah. locker room. And I just like. Stared at him, kind of. I, you know, I want to know. This is during the halftime. I want to say hi to him, but I was in awe. I was in awe. Yeah. So it'll be it'll be a really good thing for the school. I'm excited for it. Right. So you guys are coming off the court, and he's getting ready to go he's, on. He's right, right yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. They wasted no time. Blue tux. Yeah. It was blue suit. Look good. Yeah. RJ, so this might be a reset for you guys. The way you guys play today. Can you can you agree with that? Absolutely. We wanted to use Georgia Tech as a reset game, uh, but didn't play our best game. Uh, didn't give away the game, but we just didn't really play our best game. So we knew this game was a chance for us to come in and reset, play really well with our principles and do the right things and make the right play and be unselfish as a team. And we did that today, so it was the, a huge reset. The jump man coming up now in Charlotte uh, in a couple of days. I mean, how cool is that? How cool is that event? Super cool. Uh, the jump man special to us. 
Michael Jordan, UNC, uh, and it's for Charlotte. So it's a home game for us. We have to take advantage of that opportunity to get a quality win and just play our hearts out. It seems like you found different ways to get it inside. Maybe your, your center's coming off screens. What were some of the different ways that you were able to, to get them the ball open uh, inside? In fast break, if they were posting up off the pick and roll, the guy's shaking up. Uh, just looking for them. I mean, just looking for them all throughout, all throughout the offense in, in fast break, in transition, and in half court. And in half court. I was saying earlier, our bigs are much more deserving of the touches, of the amount of touches that they've got early in the season. So I'm glad that we really found them today in all aspects of the game. You want to talk shocking? We're sitting here typing new North Carolina coach Bill Belichick. Yeah, I mean, the yeah. shit is wild. Yeah, no, it's very wild. It's very wild. I, mean, really I didn't think that this would happen, but here we are. <laughs> you grew up a fan of him at all or not? Uh, I honestly always grew up cheering against the Patriots because they always won. 